Hello everyone, welcome to uh, my simple game in Unity. It's an MMORPG game where you can ask me a question, there's no other players in this game. Yes, unfortunately my friend didn't show up to this meeting right now. He was actually, uh, I told him to show up to uh, show you guys how the multiplayer functionality of this game looks like, but unfortunately he didn't. Yes, he is an idiot, he didn't show up and I'm gonna smack him when he comes back. Anyways, uh, sorry about that. And you only get to uh, view the single player functionality of this game. As you can see, there's no actual models in this game. There's only cubes and capsules. The world of capsules and cubes. And uh, I'm just gonna show you the basic functionalities that you can do within the game. I implemented a combat system, which is a basic combat system, and uh, the quest manager, and some consumables, you can use potions and all that and as you can see on the uh, lower, actually upper right hand corner, you can see the zone name and upper left hand corner you can see the portrait of the current character. Yep, I am a big South Park fan, that's why I have Eric Cartman as my portrait and on the uh, bottom task bar you can see the action bars there is one attack button it doesn't do anything right now, you can press 1 to uh, trigger it but it's not gonna animate or anything like that or no it's not gonna show you any cooldown as you can see if I hover over it it's not doing anything or no tooltips I haven't worked on the tooltip manager yet and what I did work on is right here is the backpack backpack inventory and this is a basic inventory functionality as you can see if I go pick up this uh, this is supposed to be a health potion and the health potion right here those are enemies oh yeah crap I actually accidentally aggroed one of those enemies back there I'm just gonna run away and reset its uh, position and there you go it resets yep it does aggro you if you enter its aggro range and uh, there we go you got two potions you can swap them yeah it did stack on them you can see the stack count you can move it around move it to actually uh, other inventory screens and there we go you can swap them out and you got gold you can buy it uh, right click on Mr. Mackey and he only sells two potions health potion and mana potions you can buy them using 16 gold as you can see the gold amount is 100 and as you buy it increases and you got eight health potion and one mana potion as you can see I'm not a modeler I'm a scripter so these pictures, sorry about that, I had a bug in the game and it, I had to uh, close the vent video and redo it. As you can see those pictures right here, I did not draw the pictures or anything, I actually pulled it off the internet and it, they do work quite great, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do not model or, you know, I'm not an artist or anything. But I did model, I, I did design these, uh, the quest windows, except this is scroll. And this is a qu it's supposed to be the quest log. This is empty right now because you don't have any quests. Yep, I did work on a quest manager. It took me about three days to actually get the complete version of it. If you guys are in need of any quest manager in your game, it's actually, uh, you can use it on any game. Just gotta, you know, just plug in some numbers and NPC IDs and all that. And it creates a quest for you. It's simple to use and all that. I will upload the uh, the code if you guys need it. And uh, there you go. I can right click on this guy, Stan Marsh, and he gives a quest. And you can read through. I did not spell check. If you find any spelling error, please do not ask me to, uh, or do not bug me, saying okay you made a mistake and you suck. No, thank you and click accept and you accepted a quest and there you go in the quest log it updates and you got one quest and there's another quest over here it's a killing quest where you have to kill those three monsters there and you can click accept and there you go when you click Q again and you got two quests right now let's uh, first uh, do the uh, combat quest let's click on those guys ooh Barbara Streisand attack I'm pressing one and they will actually follow me around they will uh, turn around and attack me and I can tap 
Yep, you can't you can ta target and attack these monsters. And there we go, a third monster. Yeah, the objective is to kill three monsters. Then I end the uh, third monster is dead. And yeah, as you can see, my health is low, so I can use the uh, health potion. And my health is back. Up, so the health, the quest is complete, so I can right click on Mr. Gattersand. And I can finish the quest. And there you go, the quest log updates. And there you go. Yep, I did not work on any GUI functionality which saves, or any chat window which saves the quest is complete or anything. Not yet, because uh, I only been working on this game for about like three weeks. And uh, yeah, three weeks. And uh, let me get another quest to do. We get to talk to these two people, Kyle and Kenny. And we're done with the quest. And I, as you can see, it doesn't tell you if the quest is complete or not. But it is complete, I assure you. Right click on this guy, and it says, Yeah, you're finally here. Thank you for your favor. Take these rewards. But there's no rewards right now. Because I did not implement any reward system or the looting system. Yeah, I should have done that, but uh, I, I felt like, you know, let's just... Uh, I never made a YouTube video before. Honestly, I never did that. So uh, I felt like, oh, yeah, let's just uh, make, make a YouTube video of my game and show some people what I'm doing, you know, to get some feedback from you guys. Uh, and click finish, and there you go. The quest is uh, done. We did two quests, and there's no reward. There's no XP right now. There's no money, but you can buy money using. Actually, you can buy something using money, but you cannot gain money at the moment, which is uh, intended to uh, be something you get from a loot or from a quest reward. And this is just basic zone. This is the first zone, actually. This is a tutorial zone. It's supposed to be a tutorial zone. And the second and the third zone are supposed to be uh, second. There are like actually four zones initially. Uh, right now, at the moment, yep, there's four zones. The first zone is so small, but the second zone and the third zone are super, super huge. As you can see, the zone is kind of quite nice, quite quiet, but small compared to the second and the third zone. Yeah, I've been working on uh, some optimization for the zone, uh, the patches and all that. So as you can see, I'm not, th I'm not getting any low frame rate, but you might see some uh, slow down because of the because uh, the because I'm you know recording this video on fraps but yeah the other zones are pretty amazing the scenery is fantastic uh, second and third zone yeah well you can ask me why do why I'm not showing you the video of the second and third zone but uh, I don't want to waste or not waste you know don't want to you know record the video for two minutes or two more than ten minutes I guess so the zone is so so huge well, you know, I will upload them in the future. As I told you guys earlier, this is my first YouTube video, so be patient, and I will upload them, upload them later. And yeah, this is all I've been working on. If you got any comment or any feedback or any questions, please drop me an email or just uh, post it on the comment. 